In this video, we are going to work on two column proofs by doing one example together. In this problem, it says if A, B, C, and D are points on a line in the given order and A, B equals C, D, then A, C equals B, D. So we're trying to do a proof for this, actually. So if you want to do a proof, the first thing I would do for this problem is to draw a picture. So it says A, B, C, D are points on a line in that order. So let's draw the line. And starting with A, and then we have B at some point, and then C, and then D at the end. And it says A, B equals C, D. So we know that A, B equals C, D. Remember those dashes are a way to notate that two segments are congruent. We're trying to show that AC equals BD, but we don't know that yet. That's actually what we're going to try to prove in this example. So let's set up a two-column proof in order to organize our thinking. When you do a two-column proof, you want to start by actually drawing out your two columns and labeling them statements on the left and on the right, all of your reasons. Because you have to give a reason for each of your steps. Now the first thing that you're pretty much always going to write in your proof is the given information. And the given information for us was two things. A, B, C, D are points on a line. That was the first thing. So the reason I know this fact is that it was given to me. And the second thing that was given to me is that AB equals CD. Remember, we marked that in our picture. Now here's where you're going to have to do some thinking in order to figure out how can we go from saying that AB equals CD to saying what we're trying to prove is that AC equals BD. So one thing I noticed from looking at my picture is that this segment BC seems to be important because it shows up in both AC and BD. In fact, it's the missing piece beyond AB and CD in each case. So the next thing I'm going to do is use the reflexive property and say that BC equals BC. That's again just the reflexive property of equality because anything is equal to itself. Now at this point, I could add BC to both sides of this equation right here in order to end up creating the two segments that I want, AC and BD. So if I do that, I get AB plus BC equals CD plus BC. So again, I took this equation right here and added BC to both sides, which I'm allowed to do by the addition property of equality. You're allowed to add the same thing to both sides and it doesn't change the equality of an equation. Now the next thing I want to do is look and see what I've created with what is AB plus BC. AB plus BC is actually AC. It's that full thing. So the next thing I'm going to say is AB plus BC is actually just AC. That's what the whole thing is. And similarly, CD plus BC, well, that whole thing is just BD. And notice these are the two segments that we're trying to talk about, that we're trying to prove something about. So the reason I can say that AB plus BC is just the same as AC, that's the segment addition postulate, which the idea is that if two segments combine to make a bigger segment, then the lengths of each of them added up is the length of the whole thing. Sort of makes sense. So that's a postulate. And that applies to both of these things. That's why I put them into one step. At this point, I can use the transitive property to say that AC must equal BD. The reason why is if you look at all of these equations right here, they're basically all equal to the same thing. We've got AB plus BC, 
CD plus BC, AC, BD, they're all equal. So that means by the transitive property that AC equals BD, which is what we were trying to prove. So that means that we're done with our proof. Anytime that you get to the end of what you were actually trying to show, then you are done. So congratulations.